built in. Like I can become a paladin. Uh, and I can just start running around uh, my world. Actually, I don't even know where the boundaries are here, uh, but it's pretty cool. I'm looking at a beach house full of the WPMinute.com blog posts and WordPress news. Uh, quite fascinating. Coming up on today's video, we jump into the metaverse with our WordPress websites. Is the MetaPress plugin a gimmick or useful? Somewhere in between, I'd say. Let's take a look at setting up MetaPress for our WordPress sites so you can be like me and have your little virtual avatar and jump into a beach house, a glass house, and all sorts of other things. It's it's time we take this thing off of my face. I, I really can't see here. Okay, in all seriousness, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a plugin called MetaPress. You can find it at metapress.dev. Uh, their interactive uh, video is playing in the background here. It creates a metaverse on your WordPress website. This is a YouTube video I never thought I'd be making, and I don't really have <laughs> a certain direction I'm going with, with this recap uh, in today's video, so bear with me here. The metaverse is something that we heard about of, you know, what, a few years ago. Now, recently with Apple Vision Pro, this sort of uh, augmented reality computing is, uh, spatial computing is a thing now. I've been watching a bunch of interviews with Mark Zuckerberg because he's coming out sort of uh, punching, talking about the MetaQuest and how it compares and competes and is in some cases better than a $3,000 Apple Vision Pro unit. And while all of that is great, much like my MetaQuest that I have, I really only pull it out every once in a while to play some games and to, sh to have my kids play with it. Um, and when new f when folks come over and they've never you know hopped into using the MetaQuest before, it's a fun party trick to bring out and let people play Beat Saber and stuff like that. And this plugin is pretty phenomenal, the MetaPress plugin. And I don't want to detract from however many hours it must have been to build something like this because it is mind-boggling intuitive when it comes to like the building components of this stuff, which I couldn't even wrap my head around. Let's dive into the back end of MetaPress. I downloaded MetaPress. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole setup process because it took some time as it like built the stuff out. But in terms of downloading the plugin, I went to MetaPress, you go to the developer section, and you download the WordPress plugin. It's like four megabytes-ish. You upload it, you activate it, and then the only thing you have here are these settings. So you can show the entry button, which is that hover button below. You can enter the metaverse immediately, so when somebody browses to the website, it automatically forces you into that metaverse. A maximum number of connected users, um, 10 is the default. Portal image, this is interesting uh, because if you go and you test out uh, MetaPress on their website. You can just hop right into their metaverse and play around. You can see other metaverses and enter other metaverses in this portal image, or I should say other WordPress websites. You can enter other WordPress websites and the portal image you see on the wall is represented right here. Loading image, if you wanted to have a default loading image, you can load that here. Um, and then that's it. And that's all you really need to because really the power comes from when you enter the metaverse. So we're gonna enter the metaverse now. This is my loading screen uh, for an actual metaverse experience for the WP Minute. This is what you see, it's loading. It took a little bit to load initially when it was first building out the metaverse for the WP Minute. And if you've ever played video games uh, on a computer before, it's very similar to that. You're using the WASD keys to move around or your mouse uh, to look around. So by default, I can just move around. I'm pressing the WASD keys and I'm moving around a beach house. If I click and look, I'm on the beach. If I unmuted the mic, there's actually a sound playing in the background of an ocean and waves crashing against the beach, which is crazy to me. And I can just move around and look at and I can run, and I can jump. I can do all these like crazy things. Uh, the mouse sensitivity is a little high right now, but I'm looking at pictures on the wall, and these pictures on the wall are my featured images on my blog, uh, on the WP Minute blog. And if I wanted to, let's say, look at this interview with uh, Brent Lundell from Bluehost, I can click it. It pulls up uh, an in in app browser, I guess, or just another browser tab, and I can read this uh, blog post 
while sitting on a virtual beach in the metaverse. <laughs> and it is quite fun to play around with, you know, in the beginning stages. Sorry, this is uh, the, the mouse sensitivity is super high. But I can go to these different pictures and frames and read content. And you can imagine on your website or your particular experience, you might be building out a WooCommerce store where people can buy stuff. And maybe it's real high-end stuff. Maybe it's a, a luxury item. And, and this is something that kind of sets it apart from your typical web browsing experience. And that's rather cool and, and rather interesting. Or it's a video uh, gallery where you're jumping in and, and learning with others, right? Maybe it's an educational site and you're learning with others and you're doing all of that kind of fun stuff. Um, let's go ahead and hit escape. On the left-hand side, what you'll notice is uh, the interactivity bar. I, I don't know what they call it, but I can unmute this if I wanted to talk and, and listen to others talking in this uh, metaverse with me. I can chat with them, uh, which presumably would show up uh, on their chat box when they're in the, uh, in the, I keep wanting to say live stream, but in the metaverse with me, I can emoji, uh, which, uh, obviously you're just reacting to others in the room and the real fun stuff begins when you can go into your settings, you can change your, your picture avatar, but they have these default avatars built in. Like I can become a paladin, uh, and I can just start running around, uh, my world. Actually, I don't even know where the boundaries are here, uh, but it's pretty cool. I'm looking at a beach house full of the WPMinute.com blog posts and WordPress news. Uh, quite fascinating. Let's go up to a picture on the wall. And when I pull up the editor, this is where the rubber really meets the road. And, and this is what I was saying earlier. I don't want to uh, detract from the team's hard work because this is just mind-boggling to me, like all this stuff that you can do in the editor. So if I click this, I have position, rotation, scale, uh, content slot, source ID, um, display type. I can open it up in a panel, open it up in a browser pop-up. A lot of this stuff, you probably have to be like a 3D animator to understand how it works. Like I couldn't really figure out how to easily just replicate this uh, picture frame because they're all like individual components here. Uh, but <clears throat> if I click the featured image, I can select um, the particular uh, piece of content. So when I select that, select the content, I can pick from any of my uh, pages or posts inside uh, of WordPress and I can search for uh, stuff that I have in here. I don't know if I have anything with the title Mullenweg. No. Um, WordPress. I can search for this stuff, how to get started with WordPress. When I click that, it switches to the featured image uh, from that blog post. And uh, when I pull it up here, it's the how to get started with WordPress uh, post that I did a, a few days ago. Somewhere here, I can change the theme. Okay, so we are on the beach house. Now I can switch this to an open gallery. This might take a moment to load, um, but I would imagine that when there's a paid version of this plugin, if there ever is a paid version of this plugin, um, you're getting new th themes uh, and you're getting new templates and new experiences and maybe some new ways to interact with the environment. Um, and I think that that's what's going to be the future for this plugin. Okay, that took a minute to load there, a uh, couple minutes, and you know, performance wise, it will be, you know, run at your own risk. I don't know what the, um, you know, performance parameters are, but this is pretty cool. I mean, this is a new theme, a new template. Uh, it's kind of cool to see my logo in this virtual room and I can go around my content as if I were exploring it uh, in a gallery. And I do have a smile on my face because I, th I think it's fun, though, you know, I do worry about that experience of, of longevity. Like, will Will this be around? Will this be a useful tool? Um, I guess it really depends on who you are as a creator and what your brand is. But it's it's fun to see this stuff up on a wall, interact with uh, the content in a new, unique way. Um, and it's it's it seems like a really fun uh, way to you know build those unique experiences. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, play with it on a staging site like I did. You can find it at metapress.dev. Even if you don't want to add it to your, your website, you can enter their metaverse 
and jump around and play with you know how they have things set up. It's a, a lot quicker, as you can see here, and it has uh, a bit of a tutorial. Let me just run over <laughs> to uh, those portals uh, that I was talking about before. There's the representation of the portals on the wall. Um, these are the four themes that they have now, the Sunset Store, the Beach House, uh, and the Glass House, and then the Open Gallery. I think we were in... That one just so you just run into it and it loads the sunset store, which is which is pretty cool. And, and this is like what, like an Apple experience um, where you're seeing Apple. And this is what it would look like if you had a bunch of people uh, hanging out in your metaverse and you wanted to interact with these products um, and purchase these products through WooCommerce. Um, see it live, live in the metaverse, see a representation of it and then maybe even chat with other people while they're considering buying it. I can see that being useful if you had like limited time deals or uh, products that you were only selling for a limited time, limited quantity, um, this would kind of be a fun way to experience that. Anyway, I'm rambling on because I don't really have a script for this one today. It's just fun and rather exciting. Check it out at metapress.dev. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you in the metaverse these days? What's your thoughts on the metaverse? As always, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want more stuff like this, and don't forget, if you want your weekly five minutes of WordPress news for the busy WordPress professional, head to the wpminute.com slash subscribe. See you in the next video.